Hello friends, I am Dr. Girra Sharma and today we will learn about disease specific ventilation. Means in which disease, what mode we should select, what ventilator settings we should select. So here we will learn according to the pathophysiology, what is the logic behind the mode of ventilation and what is the logic behind the each setting of the ventilator according to the pathophysiology of the disease. So, so that we can remember, you should not mug up the things, what are the settings we should set, you should go behind the pathophysiology and the logic behind the settings. Okay. So, what are the disease we will cover? First is RDS, premature babies RDS, second BPD, third is meconium aspirosus syndrome, fourth CDH, then HIE encephalopathy, these diseases we will cover, what are the settings we should set in these diseases. So, first we will start from the most common is the preterm RDS. So, any baby's preterm baby has come to us with RDS. So, first what mode was, which should select? So, premature RDS best mode is the volume guarantee mode of ventilation, volume targeted mode of ventilation because it reduces the risk of the volume trauma, BPD, lung injury and it reduces the duration of the ventilation and reduces the complications of the uh, ventilation. So, volume guarantee is the best model for the preterm babies. In volume guarantee, what first we should select tidal volumes. How much tidal volume we should select is around 4 to 6 ml per kg. So, around 5 ml per kg tidal volume we can select for volume guarantee in preterm RDS. Second T max we have to select, okay, that we have discussed in last video. Then coming to mode of the ventilation. So, primary mode we have to select. So, better to select assist control or PSV mode because here all the breaths are volume guarantee. In SIU mode all the breaths are not volume guarantee. So, better to select assist control or pressure support mode of ventilation. Then I time, I time we have to select low less I time because in preterm RDS time constant is low. So, we have to select I time should be less like 0 0.35 to 0 0.35 second we can select. So, I time will be low in RDS. Rate will be higher. So, rate will be higher according to the like here rate we can select 50 or 60. Smaller the baby higher the rate smaller the baby lower the eye time okay because smaller the baby time constant will be low that's why rate will be higher smaller the baby time constant will be low so eye time will be low so less eye time higher rates we should select in rds so we should select generally 50 or 55 sometimes 60 also we select so th this is the eye time rate then coming to pip so in volume guarantee we don't have to select PIP because machine is automatically deciding the PIP, working pressure decided by the machine and it is automatically gained. Then coming to, if we are giving pressure control mode of ventilation, then first select mode of ventilation, same we can select SIMP, assist control or PSP. Then coming to in as pressure control, PIP we have to select, so PIP we have to select minimum PIP where we can see the adequate chest rise. So, PIP is decided by the adequate chest rise. PWP we have to select. So, PEEP we should give adequate PEEP to open up the lungs. So, in RDS what is happening? Lungs are collapsed. Lungs are low volume. So, we have to open the lungs. So, for that we should give adequate PWP. So, between 5 to 8 we can select PWP. Okay, to open up the lungs. So, PEP we should give adequate, PIP should be minimum. FIO2 should, we should keep minimum to keep saturations between 90 to 94. We don't want more than 94. So, FIO2 should be minimum to keep saturation between 90 to 94. Okay, so flow is decided directly by the machine or some we can set 6 to 8 liter per minute. So, these are the settings in the preterm RDS. Second disease is the bronchopulmonary dysplasia BPD. So, what is happening is BPD. In BPD is a heterogeneous disease. Some means uh, some areas will be hyperinflated, some areas will be atelectatic. Airway, upper airways are Malaysia is there, bronchomalacia, tracheomalacia will be there. Dead space will be more. 
here increase resistance is there decrease compliance is there and increase dead space is there okay so in this condition what are the settings we should set so if you are choosing volume guarantee or targeted tidal volume then we should select slightly higher tidal volume because here dead space are more so uh, set tidal volume should be higher so normal tidal volume is 4 to 6 ml per kg but in bpd we should select at least 6 to 8 ml per kg sometimes we go up to 10 ml per kg also in bpd okay. then coming to if we are selecting pressure control then pip pip should set according to the chest rise pwp we have to select higher so we go up to 8 to 10 also so pwp will be higher in the bpd cases 8 to 10 also we will select because here airway malaysia is there so for stenting the airways we should give adequate pwp okay then coming to i time and e time so i time also will be higher in cases of the bpd to overcome the inspiratory resistance because in bpd resistance is higher so to deliver the inspiratory flow i time should be higher so 0.4 to 0.5 seconds of i time we should give in case of the bpd e time also we should give higher to exhale the air to avoid air trapping so i time also will be higher e time also will be higher and rate will be low so i time and e time both are increased so rate automatically will be come down so rate will be 20 to 30 only and i time and e time will be higher pwp will be higher pip will set according to chest rise fio2 according to saturations to maintain between 90 to 94 and tidal volume higher 6 to 8 ml per kg so this is settings of the bpd next coming to meconium aspiration syndrome so what is happening in MAS? MAS is a heterogeneous disease. In this disease, some areas will be atelectated, some areas will be hyperinflated. So MAS could be two types, predominantly hyperinflated and second type is predominantly atelectated. This means RDS-like picture. So two types, there are two types and there will be different strategies, ventilator settings for the two types. So first if in X-ray hyperinflation is the predominant, so what are the settings we should set? So if you are choosing the pressure control mode of ventilation, so we should uh, select the mode SIMV because in assist control mode there will be increased risk of the air trapping because their auto triggering will be there and increased risk of air trapping and hyperinflation will be there and already here hyperinflation is there so we should avoid the assist control select the SIMV mode then coming to settings PIP PIP will select according to the chest rise PWP will keep slightly low PWP can keep 4 to 6 cm of S2 because already hyperinflation is there so PWP will keep low I time will be normal like we can keep around 0.35 to 4.4 second E time we should give adequate E time to exhale the air to avoid air dropping or hyperinflation okay rate will keep low around 30 to 40 rates to avoid air trapping okay then fi2 according to saturations will keep and if you are choosing volume targeted we can keep slightly higher like 5 to 6 ml per kg because here also some dead space will be there so 5 to 6 ml per kg tidal volume we should keep so this is the case of the hyperinflated MAS. Then second case is if MAS is predominantly atelectated, this means <coughs> low volume lungs is there and RDS like picture is there. So what are the settings we should select in that? So if you are selecting the conventional mode pressure control, we can select assist control or SIMV or pressure support. Then PIP will keep according to the chest rise. PWP will keep higher, there we were keeping 4 to 6, here we will keep slightly higher around 6 to 8 to open the lungs because lungs are more of the low volume and atelectric. So PP is higher, PIP according to chest rise, I time will be lower uh, regarding like in RDS 0.35 seconds and rate will be around 40 to 45 per minute, FIO2 will be according to the saturations so this is 
conventional ventilator. If MAS, we are selecting the HFO. HFO mode, if you are selecting in for meconium expression syndrome, so what are the settings you should select? <coughs> in hyperinflated MAS, the MAP map we should select equal to the conventional. If baby was on conventional mode of ventilation, their mean airway pressure was 12. So in HFO also will keep only 12 only, will not go up. Okay. Delta P we have to select according to the adequate wiggling. Then frequency will select around 8. FIO2 will select around according to the saturation. Then if predominantly atelectric pattern is there, in that if, if you are choosing the uh, HFO, in that case map will increase slightly 2 to 3 centimeter as to or higher than the conventional. If your conventional ventilator map was 12, then here we will keep 15 centimeter of S2O mean airway pressure. Slightly higher will keep because here lungs are low volume, so we have to recruit the lungs. So map will give higher. Then delta P we will decide according to wiggle. Frequency 8 to 9 we can select and FI2 according to saturation. So this is the settings of meconium expression syndrome. The next coming is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or encephalopathy of any cause. Babies, we are intubating baby because of the CNS. Other systems are fine, lungs are fine and CVS is fine. Only problem is CNS is there, depressed sensorium. That's why baby is hypoventilating. For that, we are intubating the baby. So in that condition, what are the settings we should set? So here, all the settings will be minimum because lungs are fine. There is no pathology in the lung. We are intubating only for CNF. So, if you are selecting the pressure control, we can select SIMV or assist control or PSV. If spontaneous efforts are good, then we can select assist control or PSV. Otherwise, we can go to for SIMV. PIP will keep minimum. PIP will keep minimum because there is no lung pathology. If you are going giving more PIP, then hyperventilation will be there. CO2 washout will be there and Hypocarbia will be there that will lead to the decreased cerebral perfusion. Okay, so we will keep PIP minimum. PEEP also will keep minimum 4 to 6. PEEP will be minimum because there is no lung pathology. Lungs are open, lungs are clear. Then rate, rate also will keep minimum 20 to 30 rates because babies we are just supporting for hypoventilation. So Rate will be minimum, PIP will be minimum, PEP will be minimum. Okay. I time, E time will be like I time we can set for time baby 0.4. FI2 will keep minimum to maintain saturation between 90 to 94. Okay. So these are the settings for the encephalopathy of any cause. Baby is encephalopathic, but other systems are fine. Next disease is congenital diaphragmatic hernia, CDH. So what is happening in CDH? CDH is that one side lung is not developed, lung hypoplasia is there. So lung hypoplasia is there, pulmonary hypertension is there, pulmonary pressures are higher, LV dysfunction could be there in left side CDH and some vascular malformation, vascular maladaptation will be there. So because pulmonary hypoplasia is there, so here we should follow the gentle ventilation strategy. Gentle ventilation means we should give minimum pressures and minimum volume because the pressure and volume will cause lung injury because here lung hypoplasia is there. So normal volume and normal pressures will also will be higher for this lung because here, here hypoplasia is there. So that will cause volutrauma and barotrauma for the lung. So here gentle ventilation will keep. So if you are choosing pressure control or conventional mode of ventilation, so PIP will keep minimum. PEEP, we can give adequate PWP, 6 to 8. FIO2 will keep slightly higher because here pulmonary hypertension, PPHN is there. So to keep saturations above 90%, sometimes we have to give higher FIO2 in this condition. Okay. So this is the conventional mode of ventilation. But some units follow the HFO mode, primary HFO mode also some units follow in this case. So in HFO also if you are choosing HFO mode, so choose mean airway pressure minimum like 12 to 16 of mean airway pressure and 
delta p we can select out according to vehicle or double of the mean airway pressure like uh, around 28 to 30 double of the mean airway pressure fio2 will select higher and frequency in hfo will select if term baby 8 or 9 frequency will select okay so these are the settings and uh, fio2 we have to saturations we have to keep over 90 and some permissive hypercapnia some uh, pco2 we can accept here around 50 to 55 or 60 also we can accept here so these are the settings in case of the congenital diaphragmatic hernia so here we have discussed all the diseases most common diseases in the neonatology in an issue